rolling fields of Jasper County, Indiana, you'll find the peaceful city of Rensselaer, home to 5,200 people and an inventor with an out-of-this-world idea down in the basement. Chester Chuzinski has to grab the handrail as he steps down below. The 83-year-old has lost much of his eyesight, but still carries the vision to something extraordinary. He calls it the United States Universe Force of America Universal System, a series of aircraft using the overlooked principles of centrifugal force, he says, and pressurized vapor. Five to ten seconds later, the gases start rubbing and uh, start working, start coming out of the pipe and like jet and moving faster and faster eventually, about 15 seconds later, that thing took off, faster than bullet. Juzinski says he's flown prototypes of his aircraft almost a hundred times from 1947 to about 1957 in five Midwestern states, but mostly in the skies over the Chicago area. A craft exactly like this yeah, Universal yeah. 8 flew over Humboldt Park. Humboldt Park, yes, and uh, uh, Fox Lake, Illinois. We couldn't find anybody in Humboldt Park who lived here in the 1940s and 50s who can remember seeing any spacecraft up in the sky. So how do we know that Chester Chuzinski isn't making this all up? The proof, the 83-year-old says, is in writing. What was the reaction of people when they saw this thing flying? Well, next day, most of the time, was the reaction in the newspaper, on the radio, and the media, they said everybody's in flying saucer. We found stories about saucer sightings, dozens of them, from the late 1940s to the start of the 1960s, in the archives of the Chicago Tribune, with eyewitness accounts from pilots and farmers in the suburbs seeing strange objects in the sky hovering without a sound, just like a flying saucer. Across the country, there was a fascination with unidentified flying objects, and saucer sightings sprung up practically everywhere. Writers talked about flying saucers and how many there were and why they seem to appear so frequently. Now, do any of these stories have a connection to Chuzinski's test flights in Humboldt Park? The truth is, we just don't know for sure. But whether you believe or not doesn't matter to Chuzinski. The World War II fighter pilot has other concerns. As a pilot with the Polish Air Force and later with the Royal Air Force in the Battle of Britain, Chuzinski fought for his beliefs. His willingness to fight for those beliefs put him in the Soviet gulag, where he somehow found a way to come out alive. Time is running out for Chuzinski, you see. He wants nothing more than to contribute his life's work, all the blueprints and years of data, to the United States. From Quayle to Clinton and now back to Bush, Chuzinski has been writing to vice presidents and presidents in the hopes he can share his knowledge with the forces of freedom. Chuzinski's wife says he still clings to the dream. Will he ever give up? No, nope. never. I, he'll never give up. I, I, I know to the, to, he will fight to his dying days. Before that close encounter, though, Chuzinski still hopes to see his flying saucers orbiting the Earth, transporting all of us into a new millennium of space exploration.